finally, this is Secret Project 1. This is the box that was supposed to come in January. I say finally, I'm not actually mad. I understand that things don't always go to plan, but it was really easy to get jealous of that 25% of people that got the first shipment of this box. The rest of us, at least me, checking the website every day. Has it updated? Is it past 25%? Do I have an email yet? So while I was not upset with Dragon Steel or Brandon Sanderson, it feels good to be able to say, finally. Whoosh. I don't need a sound effect. It has its own. <laughs> no spoiler card. The pin is, oh, it's Vin. She looks very intense, very cute. Got the mist cloak going on. I like it. It's adorable. Ugh. Book first or save it for the end. Book first. Oh, yes. I'm so thankful this is packaged with plastic around it. I was a little bit worried. It was impossible not to see spoilers of what this looked like because everyone who got theirs was so excited. They were posting everywhere, but it feels really good to see it in person. Okay, I'm going to super carefully get this plastic off. Oh, this feels so dangerous. Careful. Oh, okay, we're good. No, more cutting. I'm gonna go wash my hands real quick. Oh, be right back. Clean hands. Oh, it's like soft. That black and gold is just gorgeous. Oh man. In the middle of the ocean, there was a girl who lived upon a rock. This was not an ocean like the one you have imagined, nor was the rock like the one you have imagined. The girl, however, might be as you imagined. Assuming you imagined her as thoughtful, soft-spoken, and overly fond of collecting cups. Ah, beautiful. Inside. Everything is so pretty. Title page for Emily, who has all my love. So sappy. This one is probably my favorite piece of art in the entire book. I love it so much. That is the art piece I put in the thumbnail for my character study of Tress, which you should go watch after this. Every chapter heading is beautiful. Where's the dragon? That's the one I wanna see. Howard Lyon is so good. He also does Magic the Gathering art. Here we go. The dragon. This is so beautiful. Worth the wait. I need to find room for it on my shelf. And there's three more coming. I'm not sure if the other ones can be as beautiful as this though. Okay, there is a couple other things in here. A sticker. I don't know what to put it on. I'll save it for now. Ooh, Hoid, the world hopper. Ooh, this is cool. Okay, so we have the planets of the Cosmere and their constellations. It's really reflective, I'm sorry. That looks so cool. I've never seen them in their constellations before. And the last bookmark is my favorite art piece with Tress sipping her salty tea and close her up, in case she wasn't close enough already. I didn't actually know there was going to be other stuff besides just the book. This was kind of fun. If you haven't read your copy yet, I do have a review. If you have read it, I have a character study, both of which I will link if you would like to catch those. I've read it twice already. It's really tempting to read again because it's so pretty. I don't have room up there. I'm gonna have to move something else. <laughs> Thank you for joining me while I opened this beautiful book. You can follow me on Instagram or subscribe here for more bookish content, including the rest of the year of Sanderson. And I'll see you next time. Bye! With her nose stuck in a book. Na -na 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 -na.